Hi, this is Aaron Sovek, and I am going to talk to you about our new release of System Platform 2023 R2 and OMI. The main feature of this release is going to be our new OMI web client. This is a highly performant, highly scalable OMI experience inside the browser client. It works very easily. You create a view app as you would normally have done that. Instead of deploying it to a view engine, it gets deployed to a web view engine. It has integrated Windows security if you need that. And if you open it, it will show you all the applications that you have deployed on it. And here you can see my application running. It does all the things you would expect it to do. So you can go and maximize that. You can resize panes and it will resize the graphics on there. You can click and control and do all sorts of things that you would be able to do in the desktop version of it. Pinch zooming and all of those touch features work as expected inside the browser. And you also have the navigation and all the other applications working there as well. We've also made major improvements in the IDE. So you'll see in the IDE, there's a new search bar that allows you to go and search for something. You can view it inside the tree, or you can specify it as a list. And you can also see if there's any warnings or errors, and you can just hover your mouse over it to get a tooltip to show you if any of these things exist. It will show you if it's checked out. And if you make any changes to it, of course, if it's already deployed and you check it in, it's going to show you that there has been updates that are pending the deployment. We've also added into the three dot menu there a handy guide to all the icons. So if you want to see what the new icons mean, we've also added a new feature to embed content in runtime. That means that you can add industrial graphics to industrial graphics at runtime by simply specifying an XY position and adding all of the custom properties as you require. I've made it here so that I can click and it just adds the graphics for me. I can also go and add multiple graphics simultaneously. I can right click them and delete them if I want to and I have the ability to select any one of them and change their custom properties as needed. So I can actually move them around on the screen if I wanted to. Of course, the more important part is these graphics are all behaving as if they are embedded into the background graphic. So zooming, panning, and all of those things work as expected as if those graphics belong to the original graphic right from the start. Our next feature is multi-language support. We have improved language support a lot so that if you use things like alias names or internationalized strings and you have translations available for them, you can simply go and switch over to a different language and all of the internationalized strings, including Boolean on off messages, engineering units, internationalized strings, even the descriptions inside the trend control or on the LOM controls will all change to the language. We've also integrated all our products with the connected experience of operations control. So if you open up an IDE for the first time, you've never logged into this machine, it's going to challenge you for credentials. You can log in with an Aviva Connect ID. And after this, it is single sign on through all our products. All of the products are aware of exactly who the user is, as well as what entitlements and licensing that user has available for it. It integrates seamlessly for single sign on. So if I do connect to a Galaxy, the Galaxy already knows who I am. And all of the cloud tools that I have available, will also be immediately available for me without requiring additional logons. So things like the cloud drive, etc. In terms of security, since I am now in a connected experience, my security roles are defined by Viva Connect, and I can add them as per normal and give them permissions. And of course, all of this translates into OMI. So if I open up an OMI, it already knows who I am. The trend control inside that OMI already knows who I am, and everything else on the machine already knows who I am. We also added global buffering. This allows us to globally go and specify that all IO inside the system should be buffered. And that's easily done in the backstage by going to configure communication, advanced communications, and ticking the enable auto buffering. This will make all IO behave as buffered IO. We've also added a new feature for alarm latching. Before 2023 R2, we had the following states of alarms. There's a normal state where nothing's going on. The alarm gets raised and now it's active and unacknowledged. And there's two ways to get out of that state. You can acknowledge the alarm, and then at some point in time, it will return to normal and we go back to the normal state. The alternative to that is it can return to normal, RTN first, and then of course, it just waits for the acknowledgement before it goes back to the normal state. Now, in 2023 R2, we've added an optional new latch that allows you to go into a latched state, and it requires a dismiss to actually remove the alarm from the screen. We've also started to improve the behavior of our products in customers' environments. One of the things that we need to do is to remove DCOM from our products. And we've started that by removing it from several parts of the product for this release. There is still some work left, but we hope that these first steps will improve the security stance of the products significantly. We've also introduced a new docs.aviva.com. And on here, you can find the new deployment guide for system platform. 
Thank you very much, and we hope you enjoy this new release of System Platform 2023 R2.